Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to RAC, where we talk all things audio production and sound. Today, we are continuing our series on music business and diving into music distributors. I'm Dariana Everett. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC grad. Let's get into it. Music production is a complex industry that involves a multitude of players, each with their own unique role. One of the most important players in this music industry are music distributors. Music distributors play a crucial role in the music production process by acting as intermediaries between the artists and the retailers and consumers. In this video, we will discuss music distribution in detail, including the role of music distributors, types of music distributors, and how to choose the right music distributor for your needs. So what is music distribution? In essence, music distribution is the process of making music available to consumers. This process involves the physical or digital distribution of the music through retailers such as online music stores, record stores, and streaming services. Music distributors act as intermediaries between the artists and these retailers. They manage the licensing and distribution of the music on behalf of the artist, ensuring that the music is available to the consumer through a variety of different channels. The role of the music distributor is to help the artist get their music into the hands of the consumer. Music distributors handle the logistics of the distribution of the music including licensing, manufacturing, and delivery. They work with a network of retailers to ensure that the artist's music is available in all formats, including digital and physical formats. Music distributors also handle the collection of royalties on behalf of the artist. This process has evolved over the years. From traditional physical distribution methods like vinyl records, CDs, and cassette tapes, to digital distribution through online platforms like iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud. There are several types of different music distributors, each with their own unique characteristics. The first type is major label distributor. These distributors are owned by major record labels, and they handle the distribution of the music for their own artists. Major label distributors have access to a wide network of retailers and can help get their artists' music into the hands of consumers very quickly. The second type of music distributors are the independent distributors. These distributors are not affiliated with any major record labels and work independently with artists. Independent distributors are typically smaller than major label distributors and may have a more limited network of retailers. However, they can offer more personalized services and may be more willing to work with artists who are just starting out. The third type of a musical distributor is a digital distributor. These distributors specialize in the distribution of digital music and work with online stores and streaming services. Digital distributors can help their artists get their music onto platforms such as Spotify, iTunes, and Amazon Music. They can provide analytics and reporting tools to help artists track their sales and royalties. When choosing a music distributor, there are several factors to consider. The first factor is the distribution network. A distributor with a wide network of retailers can help an artist get their music into the hands of more consumers. The second factor is the level of service provided. Some distributors offer more personalized services than others, and this can be very important for artists who are just starting out. The third factor is the cost of the services provided. Different distributors may have different fee structures, and it is important to choose a distributor that offers services at a price that is reasonable for the artist. If you're an independent artist looking to distribute your music, approaching music distributors can be a daunting process. Here are a few tips to help you get started. One, research different music distributors. It seems pretty obvious, but it's important to do your research. Before approaching a music distributor, make sure you do your research and due diligence. Look for distributors that specialize in your genre of music and have a track record of success. Number two, prepare your music. Also pretty obvious. <laughs> Make sure your music is ready for distribution. This means ensuring that your music is mixed and mastered to a professional standard and that you have all the necessary rights and licensing required. Number three, create a press kit. A press kit, or what we often refer to as an EPK or electronic press kit, is an essential thing for artists to do. If you'd like, I can do a deep dive and help do a template of how you can create a good press kit and how to evaluate and test to see if your press kit is good. If that's interesting, please comment down below because I can make a whole video on that. A press kit is a collection of materials that showcases your music and provides information about you as an artist. This can include 
bio, press photos, and links to your music. Number four, be professional when approaching music distributors. Honestly, I feel like all of these are really obvious, but I figured it's helpful. <laughs> when approaching music distributors, you wanna be professional and courteous. This means being prompt in your communications and providing all the necessary information upfront. Five, build your fan base. Just like anything in the music industry, as an artist, one of the biggest leverage tools you have is building your fan base. So whether you're working with a record label, distributor, publisher, you will want to be active on your socials. You will want to show them that you are continuously investing in your career and giving them a reason to also invest in your career. <laughs> and also proof that people might like what you do. Building a fan base is essential for independent artists. This means promoting your music through social media, live shows, and other channels. In conclusion, Music distribution is a complex process that involves the physical or digital distribution of music through retailers. Music distributors play a crucial role in this process by acting as intermediaries between the artist and these different channels and retailers. There are several types of music distributors, major distribution, independent distribution, and digital distribution are the main ones. When choosing a music distributor, it is important to consider such factors as retailer network, level of service provided and fee structure of the company. By choosing the right distributor, artists ensure that their music is being brought in front of the best people for their music. And that's so important because artists, the whole point of your music getting out there into the world is so that you can find the fans that are waiting for it. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe as we come out with new content every week. I'll see you in the next one.